This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build-up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to collect your own encyclopedia set, pop along to fanhome.com where you can find them for sale in many different territories across the world. So thank you once again to Fan Home for providing me with these books. I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at what you get in each delivery. Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and welcome to the next delivery of the Star Wars Encyclopedia. Another four issues randomly chosen from through the, throughout. Uh, this is part 10, the Battle for Hoth and the second Death Star. Uh, obviously from history and events, because it's a history thing, the Battle of Hoth. Uh, being history and events, we get the nice Rebel and Imperial symbols on the inside there. Uh, so, uh, in the contents, we have, obviously, the Battle of Hoth, our new stronghold, Echo Base, uh, the evacuation. It's obviously going to be the entire story of the beginning part of Empire. Uh, Bespin, Caves of Jabba, so uh, captives of Jabba, not caves, obviously. Um, not sure why that... Uh, Battle for Hoth and the second Death Star. Oh, well, it's a, a Jedi is all about the second Death Star, sort of, really. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I... Great bit of carpet. They tend to be confused between places and times. But uh, yeah, we'll have a flick through and see what's what. Obviously, as ever, these are filled with lovely colour photographs, nice quality paper, um, and lots of writing and details. Uh, free ASW4. Uh, that's not after Star Wars 4. Um, they're not, all the Star Wars timeline stuff always used to be um, the Battle of Yavin. And that was the... The, the frame point obviously episode four so it might be basically the same just use different names for it but uh so it's about three years after there i should think it sounds about right um yeah as ever it covers the films and cartoons and comics as well various different art styles layer on the tauntaun you've never seen that before but there we go uh rebels discovered probe droids and things yeah all the staff the people that are in it Echo base personnel, Imperial assault, rebel defences. What is what is he thinking about? Is he thinking, did I leave the kettle on? Or, I don't know, it could be. Uh, yeah, strategy, that's quite interesting. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, the energy generators and the walkers coming towards it, but I've not seen a lay layout of the, the base. It's quite cool. Uh, obviously, bits that I've flipped through, running the gauntlet, escaping evacuations and things uh battling the asteroids it follows on from the battle of hoth so yeah i'll give you that uh there's been cool Boba Fett, Boba Fett, where father and son spoilers not a jedi yet says Vader. yep hanging off there with his hand iconic scene over the uh, vents the new death star it, they, they should have finished it. it would have been quite nice to see it finished i'm surprised they didn't go for a different look rather than you know exactly the same but bigger they should have done it as a dodecahedron or something from elite dangerous slave layer slave layer carbonite hand all good you can see i mean it's a, a nice picture but you can see that the graphics and things are not what they are now. Skiff guards, all about huts, explosions, springing to safety, and obviously the second Death Star. It, you see, you know it looks like that, but you don't think, I don't think, never did think about all of the individual bits that you can see in a nice photo. Um, each bit is like a deck or a level, or it's so big. My brain can't cope with the size of these things. It's just uh, just ridiculous. Um, so yeah, that was that. As it says, Echo Base, Blizzard Force, everything else in there as well. Uh, the next in the pack is number 41. Uh, and we're looking at Luke. Uh, 
Um, yeah, we, we've done Vader. Let's do Luke. I don't know. He's obviously going to go throughout his entire life. Yeah, Farmer on Tatooine. Oh, it's not, you know, it's, I thought it would have been been born, but um, yeah, up to training Ray, Kylo Ren, being, being one with the Force. There we go. Farm boy to Jedi Master. Cool. Rebel hero. Hanging upside down in the hot, hot caves. Springing up and cutting his way into a walker. Yoda. Yeah. All the information that you could ever possibly need to know about Luke Skywalker is featured in this volume. Again, the, the sense of scale. If each one of these lights is a little window, it's huge. It's massive. It probably isn't a window, though, judging by the picture in the back there. So it's still big, but not quite as big as I just feared it was. Um, yep, training. Dagobah. Meeting with Destiny. After Endor, there we go. This is some of the expanded universe stuff from cartoons and comics. Solo. A little bit of backstory you didn't see in the films. Exile to the land of the Puffins. Uh, sorry, um, not Puffins. They're not, they're not Puffins. They're definitely not Puffins that they converted into being the little Borgs at all. No. Yeah, robot hand, lightsaber. Yeah, cool. Teaching Ray. Um, yeah, the, the battle that it wasn't really there before. Finally, one with a force, and then being a force ghost at the end. Very, very cool. A nice story arc for Luke there. Together with Leia at the end. There we go. That was the second volume. Uh, the third one in this pack is, again, I thought I was expecting one on X-Wings. But, yeah, I thought he did one for the Falcon. And this is all of Republic, Rebel, and Resistance Starfighters. So, yeah, it's obviously going to have a big chunk of X-Wing. But A-Wings, -A uh, A-Wings, Arc 170s from the prequels, Interceptors, T-70, T-65, T-85, B-Wings. -B it's got everything in here. But yeah, for your ship, uh, reference pictures if you need uh, model making advice. Weathering and everything on there. Some nice full colour pictures of those. Schematics of different ships as well. B wings. Something like that. Uh, yeah, they, they fall down when it goes up. So, yeah, I've, I've seen that. Uh, Delta 7. Oh, that is the Jedi Starfighter. It's obviously the proper proper name for it, the Aether Spike. Uh, the Boo, the N1 Starfighter. Yeah. I like the design of that. It's very sleek. As an atmospheric ship, that would be brilliant. In space, it doesn't make much difference, does it? Uh, U-Wing, yeah. Again, bigger than you expect. V-Wing. Uh, V-Wing? V-Wing, hey? I don't know. Uh, where was that used? I don't know. don't recognise that at all. Interesting. I shall have to have a read up and see some more details about that. Coralant Starfighter, again, not aware of that one. Nice look though. There we go. The T65 X Wing, the traditional proper X Wing. Not going to be lots of detail about that because we've got other things to do, but we've got blueprints and things as well. All pilot training. Look at the size of that thing, it says Wedge. Combat tactics, yeah, okay, they're a bit more in-depth about the X-Wing than they are others. Uh, the T-85 X-Wing, that's what this was, wasn't it? Is that 65? I can't remember. Oh, 65. Yeah. T-70s were the other one, and the 85 is the next next version. And then the bomb go-faster version that he's got. The uh, booster pod. Y-Wings. Y-Wings with armour. Don't look right. They just don't. There's something about them with armor on them that just doesn't look right at all. It, it's too, it's too fat, it's too thick, it's just not right. Where do they look properly? There they go. It's so much better. It's yeah. Oh no, it doesn't look right with the armor on it. There we go. All about Y wings, headhunters, the uh, forerunner to the X wing, really used a lot for training inside the computer games. 
uh, the bombing thing, Star Fortress. And that is that. Uh, there is one more volume in this month's delivery. Uh, and it is Weapons and Technology, the Lightsabers and Jedi Equipment uh, from volume 83. We're starting on the TIE Fighter in the end there. Uh, so yes, Weapons and Technology, Lightsabers, Seven Forms of Lightsaber Combat, various different people's expert, uh, experts. Lightsabers are being introduced and talked about in there. Basically everybody's lightsaber, then we've got other things. Aqua breather, com links, hollow projectors, grappling hooks. All about the colours and why they're the colours and different types there. There are lots and lots of different types. Uh, seven forms. Nice. List them all there. You can read all about the seven forms of lightsaber combat. Uh, Ashrakas, Ventress. They've all got their own sort of personality. Then they definitely match each person that uses them. Oh, brilliant character. Very short lived. Very short after he had his legs cut off, obviously, as well. Um, Darth Sidious. You see him use them very much, but cool. Uh, Vader's. Black, obviously. I don't remember much about Vader's lightsaber. You don't really look at it too much. It's not, I mean, Luke's. Mackins is obviously the one that's the, the first one. Lightsaber Blaster from Ezra. I quite like that. That was a brilliant idea. Spinny thing from the Inquisitors. Uh, Kanan. Underwater lightsaber. Cool. I don't know if they would or wouldn't work underwater. We don't know. Uh, Luke's. There we go. That's the traditional one that we all know and love. Very nice. Aces. The Dark Saber, of course. Just uh, featuring in Mandalorian. Uh, Wagon, very, very, very similar. And obviously, then we have the legacy of the Skywalkers. Yoda's little ones. So Jedi detection, scanners, comlinks, all the stuff that we see him use. Little grappling hook, little projector. Training remotes, yeah. Yeah, they use quite a lot. And clothing, the final bit. Nice uh, bit about Jedi robes and things like that. Utility belt, nice. Not Batman, but, but more Jedi. Uh, so yes, that was all four of this month's delivery. Uh, we've got, as I say, lightsabers, starfighters, Luke, and the Battle of Hoth. A nice cross-section of the four, four of the six variations of things that are featured in here. Uh, nothing from... What we've got droids and the planets locations nothing on there this month but you can't have them all every month because there's only four so yeah uh thank you very much for watching i hope you're enjoying this if you are the link to get your own version is in the description below uh pop along to fan home and uh, you can build up your own library of star wars encyclopedia thank you very much for watching thank you again to fan home for sending me these i shall peruse them at my leisure and put them on the shelf and put them all in the right order so eventually the spine will build up to be a nice big picture. So thank you very much. I shall see you very shortly. Bye bye for now.